Hello guys, welcome back to Himalayan Mysteries. I'm gonna place the key because uh, I didn't place it in my last video because it would click a cutscene. So uh, I'm gonna place the key, watch the cutscene, and I'll get back to you. See you in a bit. Exactly. The Yakta is a source of great power, and it will enable me to return to my home planet once the rest of my starship is fully operational again. Fascinating. Is there anything I can do to help? Many years ago, we were on an expedition to your planet. We came here to learn about your species, but something went terribly wrong, and our ship lost power. Disease and the cold environment has killed my companion. I placed myself in hypersleep, hoping someone would eventually bring back the Yakutab. And it has weakened me. There is little time. I grow weaker as we speak. I would like you to help me retrieve the four recharged Triklon cells, which are inside my spaceship. Well, it just so happens that finding stuff is a speciality of mine. Keep yourself warm and I'll return shortly with what you need. So, we uh, begin the next level. The Yakni uh, starship. Uh, we're going to come to the right and go to this way. There is going to be a uh, another ray gun. Another ray gun right here. <coughs> now let's pick it up. Pudges for the uh, cupping. So just come around. Oops, I forgot to press the button. Right here. So, button pressed this time. Come around. There are some platforms for you to jump to. Let's keep jumping across them. There's an invisible one, which is kind of visible. There's a wall there which is going to stop you from falling off the edge. Just jump up and you will find the uh, anti gravity vault. Vault. Anti gravity vault. Can't talk today, apparently. Do I jump to this tire? In fact, I better save it just in case. Jump to this one. Just want to keep jumping to these uh, platforms that are up. Just make sure you save it on this one because this jump can be tricky. So I do a jump, but you want to kind of angle to the uh, right. Actually, that was a very rare occasion that I make it on my first go. So you want to pull this lever. <coughs> so 
Sorry about that, Ethan. That was my uh, laptop. The uh, charger. So once you pull the lever, you want to get out. And I like how Lara's uh, got changed again. Very nice of her. Do you want to push this button? And you come into here. This will trigger a uh, load screen, so I'm going to save it because I love saving after load screens. So have it in mind. I'm going to come up the uh, ramp. And there's a block which you can pull out. You need to pull this block out so you can stand on it. That's typically the main reason why you pull blocks out. Same with this one. Why I'm coughing a lot, but oh well. So I'm finishing up uh, this game today, which is very uh, awesome. Some beams here, I want to run across them while they are not on, while they are off. One more. So if you uh, go for the beams when they are on, it will kill you. Uh -huh. So pick up this Yargle activation key. You've also lost the uh, anti-gravity belt as well, just so you know. That's gone for some reason. You can just do side jumps through these things. That's another way you can do it. No, that. I did that on purpose by the way, just so you know. So I'll see you guys back where I was. So I'm back at the uh, place. I am going to save just in case I die again. Or I could wally. So just side jump when the beams are off. Wait for iteration before jumping. Wait. Jump. And you're good to go. The door over there is for a secret which we will uh, you will get that much much later on. We need to activate a Yargo now. So uh Place the Yargle activation key in the Yargle, in the, uh, Yargle activation keyhole. This will let out a uh, well out of the Yargle. The button will let out the Yargle. This is not the uh, Yargle that you can ride. It's different. It's just, it looks the same, but it's not the bike Yargle. He's going to come out of here. If you follow him. Come on, Yago. Come on. Come on. Don't push me. I'm following you. That looks so wrong, Lara Croft. He's going to open up this door and he is going to uh, just stare at Lara's boobies. That's what it does now. And I want to make sure I have the. Uh, Explosive ammo equipped. Put it away for just a sec. There's a button here. There's going to be two of those balls from uh, two levels ago. Four kills in this level because the uh, Grenades count as two. Go into this area. 
I believe there's a pickup. No, there isn't. I'm wrong. I remember there being a pickup there, but there isn't. Oh, I know why it's just. I remember it. It's uh, over here. This is the uh, navigation disc. Uh -huh. So pick up the uh, the uh, navigation disc. We need we need uh, another one of these. We also need to get a uh, four recharged trilon cells, which we would get, which is the main goal of the level, and place them. We've also got to get the final secret, but first things first, surface, and there's two doors, you can see that this one stands out a bit, so it's clear that that's the door. <coughs> there's a lever, pull the lever. And just exit. Then uh, just open up the other door. Pull this lever. Come back around quickly. We need to we need, we, uh, we need to surf this. So this makes sure the lava's air goes full. I'm wading forward a bit just to uh, save a bit of time. But I'm not going to rush through the level. It's just going to be slow. Obviously I'm going to try to get through the uh, timed parts fast. Because they're timed. Duh. Pick up the explosive ammo, you're probably uh, not going to need it. But pick it up anyway and just run down this ramp. And you'll come to this area. There's nothing there yet, so I want to put this out. Because that's one of the uh, recharged things, but you can't use it yet. Come to here, grab a med pack, medi pack if you want that. If you don't want it, tough luck. Pull this lever. That's going to remove some beams so that we can pull some items out. Push the buttons. And there's a uh, the three things. The one on the right. Now, please move it. Good girl. I'm gonna move this one first. If you if you look, you can see there's three odd, three tiles that look a bit different to all the rest. They are the places where we're gonna put these. Now these do go in in a uh, specific spot. This one goes to the uh, left as I'm looking at it right now, or to the right as you look at it from where you'd enter. But the other two you want to swap around so that the one that was in the front, well, the one that goes to the tile directly to the right of me now, is the uh, red one, and the blue one goes here. So it's the colours are supposed to be green or yellow, but green yellow uh red blue going uh anti clockwise. So this is the uh, final of Himalayan Mysteries the finale And it's uh, not too difficult, but it, but it is a uh, nice looking level. 
that shows us some bars so we've got to pull the uh, blue one out now I don't know how you would find this out but just pull it just pull them around putting them and you'll be fine the way I figured it out figured it out originally was moving one to all three, moving the second one to the two that are left, and moving the third one to the remaining tile. So just to trial and error, and that worked for me. But I know where they go now, so I'm just going to place them in the correct positions. Place this in, not here. I literally just said that they uh, swap around and I... But I wanted to show you that nothing happens if you press it on the uh, wrong tile. That's why I put it there. So if you put it on the wrong tile, nothing happens. So uh, if nothing happens, you know you've done it wrong. It goes here. So the uh how do we go like this? So the things go up once you put them in the right place. Last one goes here, so that is the Z red one. Move the red one to its position. I don't know what the colours have significance uh. actually we'll just check something no so if anyone knows the sign significance of this of the uh, locations because there doesn't seem to be anything that tells you Let's place these uh, pyramid thingy babs. Place it here. And that opens up the doors, the uh, zingies, the thing. That's the PR. So yes, I'm just doing the whole of the uh, Yavni starship in this video, just because I can. Most people that I've seen have cut this up into uh, the separate levels, but I'm just going to do it as one, because it's, it's almost like it's one video anyway, one level. Pull this lever. So, pull the lever and stuff happens. Hooray! You want to go back down now? If you want to save damage, you can uh, go back this way. If you just want to get through it, uh, grab the uh, trial and stuff first. If you want to save damage, you can go back the way you came. However, we come up to a load screen so it doesn't really matter too much. So I believe we want to come to this one now. Again. Because there's another trial on the cell. You 
couldn't have got this beauty without pulling the lever that we just pulled. Or, or did we just put the lever? Whatever we did, you can get it now. You couldn't have got it before. I'll move my mic. My mic just went out of uh, place. Too much coughing going on, so let's. So now that we've done all that, we can get the heck out of there. Where do I go? Not this one. So it's this one. I just I was looking at the uh, my phone because I'm recording on that. I'm not paying enough attention to what I'm actually doing. Calling my voice on that. Go up here, I think it is. Let's, yes. Decide. Push this button. The argos going to come out. Amazing. I wish this uh, cough would go away. And I've got lots to do, so I just thought I'd go ahead and do it. So the Argos going to open up a door. He's also going to stand there. That is a clue that he's going to open that door later on. But we need to grab the other two of these Twilight cells. Triclon, I mean not Triclon, missed out the C there. So we've got the Tartar Stone which is also important. Is it, and we've got we've got most of all the secrets so far, the water, the Yeti Bone, Flower, Wheel and the thing. The water wasn't a secret but we picked it up in level 1. We don't use it but it is a required pickup. And Lara, jump forward please. So yeah, we need to get one more secret, then we'll have them all. And I will... Oh, this is time, by the way. I forgot about that. I was distracted by my talking over... It's not that difficult when you were... Uh, on recording. Just run for it. It's not that. It's not hard at all. Shoot the ball. Shoot the ball. Ball. Save the game. There's gonna be a lot of saving in this room because this is the room that I read the most in the entire game. Come up here. There's a swing pole. Use the swing pole. Just behold the forward button so it keeps swinging. As soon as you release the forward button, she will swing off the pole. Grab the lever. So what you want to do is when it falls, one, two, three, jump. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, one, two, three. 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 Done. Save. So all we have to do is count to three and then jump, but I made that look so difficult. It's actually a lot easier. We cut the uh, key. 
tele I think this is the teleport room key, if I'm not mistaken. Place the uh, teleport room desk right here. <coughs> that is our teleport room. Come to here. I'm gonna save and just take a little break. So I'll be back in. A, well, I'll be back in a sec for you guys. So see you in a bit. So I'm back after a little break. And that thing was a bit tricky but when you but when I edit it it will look uh, a bit more flawless. I don't know if she died that much doing it. So let me just move my window a bit up. So yes this looks like the same area but it's not. It's a slightly different area. I'm just moving my window after recording. So it looks like the same area, but if you come over here, you can tell it's very uh, not the same area. Come to here, there's a uh, medipack. So pick up the medipack, if you will, Lara Croft, that'd be nice of you. From here on out, there's not that much difficult difficulty. So that one part is the hardest part of the entire game I just did it so I'm pretty much in a better frame of mind to do this now first things first in this new level so you see this beam I think what you, you, you might think what the hell is this it's the ladder so just so it just goes up it like this so it's technically a ladder but it's uh, a beam so if I say beam ladder, that's what I'm referring to. I didn't mean to uh, hit the... The piranhas are actually quite friendly. But basically what I did was I shot a ball. So, yes. The piranhas there, they're going to try and attack you, but they won't take any damage. Just very uh, useful. So yes, I have thought about which tutorial I'm doing next. There was two. There was actually three in my mind, but I picked one out of the three. I'll be doing Saudi Arabia episode one. The other two were Quest of Gold and Barkang's Nostalgia. I will be doing them both at some point. Let's see, we also picked up a uh, hypno... Well, I didn't even see what this says, but something garden key. So let's use that to get into here. There's going to be a, uh, one of those things with the balls. It's also a good place to have a little wade if you want. Get right close to it. Just shoot it. There's actually five of them that you want to shoot in order to do what you want to do. Next one is in here. Now this is one that we are going to come back to. An area that we'll come back to once we've done something else. <coughs> so yes. So there's a door over there. A closed door. You also see a key, a key, a, 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 a key slot. That is for later, but we, but we need to shoot this. And you can't get the key, the uh, the uh, key card, without shooting that thing. So shoot it. Otherwise, you will not be able to complete the game.
There's two more balls that we have to shoot. You come to here, there might be a few lotusts. So yes. I'm just gonna try my best to not let them bother me. Uh, there's a bug that I've just got. Because I believe I shot all the things. But the platform didn't raise originally. To get out of the bug, save and reload. And pick up this. Uh -huh. This is for that receptacle we saw earlier. So we're going to go back and use it. I didn't mean to fall into the water, I meant to jump back to the platform to jump back. Blow up. I'm happy to do this stuff again. So, pull up this thing. Hold the up action button, not the up action button, the, the up key. And there's something in here that you need to pick up. If you don't pick it up, then you uh, won't. It's not this one, it's the other side. I'm going to place the item now. The Universal Starship key. This key will unlock quite a lot of the doors. If you remember, I think in Tomb Raider 4 there was a bunch of keys to pick up. Which, uh, this is essentially the same thing. It's kind of like the master key. Pick up the third, uh, triclon. Recharged. Tricolon cell. There's one more that we need to get before we can end the level. Then we'll be done. This is going to take a cool while for me to edit the uh, depths out from earlier on because I uh, messed up so much. But oh well. Well, it's a. Uh, So yes, I'm gonna probably do a Saudi Arabia next. Some more lotuses, more flies, moths, whatever the heck they are, will come out. But if you keep running, they won't hurt you as much. And even if they do, there's no need to worry. I've got loads of health packs and soup. Because for some reason, I took used soup to uh, have a small med pack. But just jump, turn and jump. And come to this room. Now, this. Yes. I've had it once where she won't push this, and if that happens to you, then you're stuck. There are some aliens in these tubes, but it doesn't matter. They're not gonna harm you. There's another alien later on in the level. But I see that alien that we saw earlier. But he's a nice guy. So yes, we're helping the aliens. That's what we're doing. So you would not really know what was going on with the early levels, but... Oh, save, because there is a tricky jump here. Yeah, can I jump and grab the monkey bars? Now, this is actually the first time I uh, made it on my first att attempt. So I drop down and grab and push the button. That's going to raise a platform in the water below. Now this water is death, so do not 
under any circumstance fall in because you will die if you do. Universal Starship Key, place that here. I believe we still have it. Yep, we still have it in our inventory. It makes sense because when do you when do you uh, put a key in a keyhole and not have it at all? Except in Tomb Raider. So we have turned on the energy. And yes, you want to exit the area through the door and back up the beam. Going back to the area where we were before, but we're going to the upper part of it. So back up the yes, ladder beam, whatever you call it. I don't even know anymore. I've seen some cool stuff in TRLE. Oh, is this one's timed as well? I was distracted because my home my dog was making some noise. Yeah, I missed it. My dog was making a noise upstairs and I wanted to see what it what I wanted to make sure of. it wasn't anything dangerous. So yes. Oops. Oh I'm back here again. I thought I saved it up there so I'll see you guys back at the spot. So I'm back. Let's push this button. Jump and roll. You're actually just blimp for this, I don't think. You can make it through, just firing it out. So, so yeah, this now is not that tricky, uh -huh. but oh well. You know, I'm just gonna make it through today. Press this button. We picked up a uh, water bubble down there, by the way. This is timed as well, but it's not a tricky. Push the button twice to open the door. It's a bit weird how you have to press it twice, but that's what Tissot did. Dive into this water. For some reason the half bar came up, it's no biggie. Fertilizer. So place the uh, items that you just picked up in the receptacles. So yes, we've. Uh, it's not too clear what that did. I have no idea. I th think actually, uh, if you don't, if you don't uh, grab poverty items in the place, you won't be able to use. Yes, thank you for thing. Cut this navigation disc. Uh -huh. So we have both of them. There are the uh, piranhas, which are not even that 
why to attack. For some reason she doesn't want to get out. She got out over here. This is weird. I'm gonna have to redo that because it's just not getting out. I'll see you guys in a minute. See ya. So, back again. I just saved it, but I just hope we can get out this time. There we go. I don't know why she wasn't pulling out. I've seen this bug happen in uh, other levels. I felt a lot when I went into the same bug in, uh, in this countryside. So now we can uh, save game again. Sprint through here while the bins are off. You don't need to sprint. You can make it free without sprinting. But what's the point? More of these low tests come out of attack. These don't always come out of attack. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't. As soon as I pick up this, some bugs are going to come out. Put up here. They'll be clapped inside. Okay, so we've got another key card. Which is what we came in here for. Let's leave this area. We're good. Just to show you, don't need to sprint. So yes, it's advisable to sprint, but it's not. You know, you don't have to. Place this key in the keyhole. Well, well, fear the X fire on cells. One of them. So, yes, the uh, final one is in here. Pick it up, and we will move on. Use this beam. Oops. Oh well. I had the action button to grab the beam, but she didn't grab it. Not, not, no biggie. So we've got all four of these beams now. These shells. But it doesn't matter that we've got the uh, low half because when we come through here. We're going to be using the teleporter again. And actually, I don't know if you can get back through this one. I'll save it and have a look. Yeah, you can. 
but you can always just get back by doing this. So yeah, that's a very quick way to refill your health if you need to. I just felt like doing that because it looks too cool. I just love teleporting. So, we're going to come back into here. Because the secret door is now open. Secret 15 of 15. Your goal was indicating that this is the door that we're going to go through now. We've got the secret. We've done everything else. There are some things on the uh, wall. Here's our alien friend. Hello. He's he's asleep. So pick up a screwdriver. Some sort of screwdriver. Combine it with a char char stone to get the Yakata. Press this button. And that will raise all of these covers so that we can place all of the uh, recharged tri cells. So let's place all the items. Then this door opens. We're going to space. So you want to place the uh, navigation discs on the blue planets. So there's this one which looks like Pluto. Don't run into the sun. And this is clearly Earth. Look, as you can see, I don't even see where the uh, one. Place the other thing. See if you can find I believe it's there. I'm looking for the UK because that's the best place. If you will head west, take the compass because it can be hard to find the exit. Just head west and you'll find it. Simple as that. So you're going to here now. That door is still closed. But this door is now open. And yes, climb up this stuff. The Yakata. Cause a ball of plasma to go around it. <coughs> That's our alien friend. Can I fall down here? Probably not. I don't want to risk fall. In fact, it might have been fine, but I don't want to risk falling now. Wait, 
where we are this close to the end of the level. But this item uh -huh. is called the control center crystal. I'm going to go for my inventory just to uh, see what I've got left because this is going to be the end of the level when I place it. So we've still got the Universal Starship Key, Bottle with Water from the first level, Yeti Bone, Lotus Flower which I believe we got from the second and third level if you got the secrets in them you get this, Drama Wheel, I think that's another one, that was a secret. We got this in the previous. The galaxy is the one that we just got. This door was 210. I didn't really use them. I don't think I used them at all actually. One automatic crystal ammo. 23 normal. No wide shot. 43 explosive. 20 uh, normal. 48 flares. 4 soups. And the large med pack. And the spear. So, we've used 10 med packs. We've taken about 4 hours and a quarter. All secrets. No kills in this level. But there's kills in this video, but this is 4 separate levels. Place the secret, you think, and the level will end. So, goodbye, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Take it Thanks, easy. Mara. You did it. You're welcome. It was fascinating and fun. So, how are you going to get that starship out of the ground? It's completely embedded in rocket science. Don't worry about that. Our technology will enable me to dematerialize and then rematerialize the rock and ice. Nobody will ever know we were here, which is the point. No secret safe with me. It is time for you to go now. You'll find a village in the distance. Thank you. Farewell, and have a safe journey.